welcome to uh, Bristol Community College. And I want to thank you for uh, joining me and joining us at this, on this uh, very special day. Today, BCC Community College celebrates Thomas A. Rogers, Jr., founder of Globe Manufacturing and creator of the Rogers Family Foundation. The Rogers Family Foundation has been very important in the growth of BCC's Fall River campus, especially over the last several years. Their dedication to supporting education and opportunity in Fall River has been shown through their immense generosity to BCC, donating over $460,000 for projects far and wide. Thank you. Recently, the uh, Rogers Founda Foundation gave the college its largest gift in history, $1 million. Thank you. To, uh, to honor this amazing gift, uh, Bristol Community College's Board of Trustees is naming the Science Building on the Fall River campus the Thomas A. Rogers Junior Science Building. Thank you. Thank them. Uh, this is not the first project to bear the Rogers name. Uh, their giving has funded cutting edge learning spaces on the Fall River campus, campus such as the Rogers Cyber Cafe in the Farley Learning Resource Center and the Rogers Writing Lab in the Engineering Building. Because of donors like the Rogers Family Foundation, Bristol Community College has been able to grow in space, technology, and opportunity. This allows us to give our students the best education possible. In a time of shrinking budgets and limited funds, our donors ensure that BCC remains a beacon, not just in Fall River, but for the state and the country. I now would like to welcome uh, BCC's president, John J. Sprager, president of Bristol Community College. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Marshall, and good morning, everyone. This is quite an event. Uh, the Rogers name has uh, changed the face of, uh, of the college, and, uh, and here is yet another example, another demonstration of the Rogers commitment to education, and uh, even more specifically, the Bristol Community College. It's an honor to be here to recognize uh, Thomas A. Rogers, Jr. and the Rogers Family Foundation through this building dedication. <coughs> Uh, it's so fitting that our science uh, building, filled with students dedicated to becoming the leaders of tomorrow, uh, be bestowed with the Rogers name. And you should know we have some science students uh, that are here today with uh, Dr. Pelletier's class, chemistry class. The Rogers Family Foundation represents opportunity, which is exactly what uh, Bristol Community College excels at offering. This is especially true in the sciences where BCC leads the way in the region in producing professionals in science, technology, engineering, and math, the so-called STEM field. As uh, Chairman Marshall said, we live in a time when the state funds that we receive don't match the number of students we serve or the resources we need to help them achieve success. Because of this unhappy state of affairs, donations are more important than ever. You should know that we are uh, Bristol Community College of 12,500 students, which is larger than any institution of higher education in Southeastern Mass. And uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, of the 15 community colleges in the, when I said any higher education institution, I meant any four-year as well as two-year uh, in Southeastern Mass. But uh, of the 15 community colleges in the state of uh, Massachusetts, uh, Bristol Community College is the second largest second largest of the 15. So we're very happy about what we've done. Enrollment has grown. Uh, I arrived in 2000, and uh, enrollment has grown 83% since that time. So we're very proud of providing opportunity in, uh, uh, throughout, the, throughout the region. Now, whether it be scholarships given to students through our foundation, uh, new technology to keep our campuses state of the art, uh, or even new buildings like our health and science uh, building that you may have seen is under construction. Uh, donors like the Rogers Family Foundation bridge that funding gap and help our students to be the best that they can be. 
uh, the state-of-the-art activities and equipment and technology uh, blends with the state-of-the-art teaching from our expert faculty. So it is a great opportunity for our students to excel. And I tell the students, you can go anywhere from BCC, and they do, uh, whether it's right to a, a baccalaureate granting institution or right into the uh, career fields. And uh, I tell them, never, never forget that wherever you are, I tell alums especially, wherever you are and what you've done, you wouldn't have been able to do it without BCC. Uh, so we're very proud of that. Uh, we congratulate the Rogers Family Foundation as a champion of education and a champion of Bristol Community College. It's our privilege to have uh, Mr. Rogers' name forever inscribed on our campus. And now, uh, 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 Chairman uh, Marshall mentioned some of the names, uh, some of the places and things that uh, the Rogers' name is associated with. And uh, you can see how it has changed the face of, of the college. So now it's my honor on, uh, uh, to introduce to you uh, the president of the BCC Foundation, Donald Smith. Thank you, uh, President Spraga. Thank you, Chairman Marshall. And uh, welcome, everyone. You know, it's, it's nice when you're here for an event and you see the students walking back and forth because that's really the mission of what BCC is all about. It's about students uh, who use the facilities we have here. And I'm here representing uh, the other members of our foundation. Are any members here? I, I think I saw Sue Lavoy no, back there. Yeah. Anybody else? But thank you very much for coming this morning. I am thrilled to be here today to help honor the Rogers Foundation on behalf of the BCC Foundation. When it comes to giving back to the college, people tend to ask why? Where does the money go? What benefit do students get from it? It's simple. The donations and gifts we receive go straight to benefit our students and facilities they utilize. The BCC Foundation relies on friends, alumni, and philanthropists like the Rogers Family Foundation to fill those needs and er those areas of needs. Money raised by the foundation, such as the $10 million capital campaign currently underway at BCC, ensures a brighter future for new generations of students. Before this gift, the Rogers Family Foundation had given $460,000 to Bristol Community College. That money invests in our students and their experience here at BCC. It has provided thousands of dollars in scholarships and hundreds of thousands of dollars in learning space improvements, infrastructure, and student support. These are the needs for the college that we otherwise would not have had. On behalf of the BCC Foundation, I congratulate the Rogers Family Foundation on this honor, and I thank them for their immeasurable generosity in supporting the students of Bristol Community College. Thank you so much. Thank you, Don. Thank you. I would be remiss if I didn't uh, recognize a wonderful champion of the foundation and Bristol Community College, Myron Wilner, is here. Thank you for all of your help, Myron. And also, I would like to invite to the podium some another great uh, champion of education of Bristol Community College and of the Rogers Foundation, uh, Bernie Teradash, if you would come up and say a few words. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's a real pleasure for me to represent the uh, uh, Rogers Foundation. Uh, I was with Mr. Rogers uh, yesterday, and. He's sorry he can't be here, uh, but he's here in spirit, and so is his father. And indeed, if you knew a little about the history of the Rogers family, the company, Globe Manufacturing, that he founded um, shortly after World War II um, has been a marvel of positive influence in the whole area and in the the other campuses that they had uh, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and in Gastonia, North Carolina. Um, his money, uh, he's a strong supporter of Salve Regina, 
uh, Mr. Rogers III is on the uh, trustees, and he's been very generous there. The myriad families who have benefited by his scholarship money uh, can't be uh, numbered. Um, but he's a wonderful example of a bootstrap person who really had an exemplary life and was very, very successful doing it, and he knew what he wanted to do by giving it back. And he's certainly done that in, in spades. When his business was sold in 1995, we, we, uh, he took his uh, foundation and made sure that that money would be reinvested in the community. And in, this is the best way to reinvest it. He supported the YMCA, the Boys Club here, but many, many other worthy uh, charities in the whole area. We're very fortunate to have uh, the Rogers family having lived here and having not forgotten where they came from. I remember having a lunch with Mr. Uh, Rogers, and it was a very, always a very exemplary lunch at the uh, New Boston, uh, not the New Boston Bakery, but the uh, Greasy Spoon on the corner of, uh, sorry, uh, Steve, but uh, on the corner of Robeson and New Boston Road. And <clears throat> the, uh, his, his uh, depression days never, never left him. Uh, he, was al he would always have water, and I, I was allowed to have tea. And then he wanted to know if the egg salad was fresh. If it was fresh and made today, he had an egg salad sandwich. Now, he never got any soup because that would break the budget. I had the soup. Uh, um, but he was very conscious. He, he, he uh, reminded me of how he, his mother made candy during the Depression, and he would go out and sell it so that he could um, have food on the table, and that was a source of income. It was any, any, any kind of activity that would bring in uh, money for the family. He was very generous uh, to a T with his friends, and he was extremely loyal to his friends. Um, I'm all, uh, I had a little role in starting the uh, Rogers Foundation, and I'm delighted to say that it has made a big difference uh, in our area. Without it, we'd be really quite uh, less uh, uh, blessed. Uh, I'm also a trustee of the Grimshaw Foundation, so we we love uh, Bristol uh, CC, Bristol County the Community College. A couple of ways I see Grimshaw's name on the library, so uh, and the art uh, uh, the art department. Um, it's a real pleasure, and uh, you kids uh, should learn a little something about Mr. Rogers and some of the other wonderfully successful people that came from Fall River and uh, try to emulate them. We've got a great start. Lots of good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, you know, speaking of the scholarships, we have a student here, a, a student ambassador and a student senator, a senator uh, Amy Blanchett, a single mom who would not be here were it not for Rogers uh, scholarship. So, Amy, would you raise your hand so everybody can see you? There's a living demonstration of the value of these scholarships, and uh, uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, so now uh, we'd like to get to the dedication of, uh, for the building. You'll, we have an artist's rendition uh, de uh, depiction of the signage uh, for the building, and I'd like to invite, if I could, uh, Sarah Rogers uh, McNeil to come up and uh, help us with the unveiling. Thank you. Chairman Marshall and Chairman uh, President. Me, I'm over here. Sarah, did you want to say a few words? Or? Yeah, okay, great. Okay. So, everybody, you got, everybody want to grab Sarah? Uh, on a count of three? Who, who can count that high? Right? One, One, two, <laughs> Three. 
Well, you can see it's going to be quite a jewel of the, uh, of the college, and uh, uh, we're so grateful uh, for all that the Rogers family have done uh, for, uh, for Bristol Community College and for education in general and for the region. So, Sarah, thank you very much, and please extend our uh, heartfelt thanks to uh, your dad, and uh, we hope that he'll be here soon for the uh, any time he'd like to come, actually, for a visit of the college. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Yeah.